you forget the words to your own song you can always claim artistic license forget the words to the national anthem and you screwed said by lyle lovett a very good morning to one and all present here standing before you is i rohini maraskolle today i will going to speak about why should the national anthem being played in a cinema hall i would say that national anthem should be played in the cinema hall as very seldom we get a chance to sing the song in our daily lives the view with the flag in the cinema hall increases patriotism as we get opportunity to stand and sing so our feelings so our feelings soldiers die for us and can't we stand and salute this flag for at least 52 seconds the supreme court has just ordered that the national anthem should be played in before every movie in every cinema hall in the republic of india when the national anthem is played it is imperative for everyone to show honor and respect it would instill a sense of committed patriotism and nationalism the judge reportedly observed the national anthem used to be played across india once upon a time but the practice faded away in 2002 narendra verma of the nationalist congress party lobbied and got the maharashtra to order cinema halls to do it again Mr Verma's logic was that it would help in unite people. Yes, it's just a matter of showing respect. When we show pride to being an Indian and when an Indian backs an international title or award, we are still get confused on how to show honor and respect to our own national anthem and national flag in our own country. But standing up to your country's anthem is not to show patriotism, but to show the feelings of love and respect to our motherland now the things come to the lack of guidelines the earlier incident of someone has been beaten up when he did not stand up when the national anthem being played in the theater it is due to the clear lack of guidelines right from school days we have been taught to rise up and pay respect to our national anthem right from uh, but it seems like growing up takes us away from that and needed to be bounded by guidelines needed to be bounded by guidelines and make everybody to follow protocols uniting the divided we all are divided by caste religion state status and what not the only thing that integrates us into one is our nationality showing and feeling that unity is important people will see and feel that there is something common between everyone at the theater that make us feel united in nation dear friends while we play the national anthem and before every national sports national meetings why can't we play the national anthems in cinema halls the motive of playing national anthem the motive of playing national anthem is to kindle our national spirits and to feel one with our country individually who is listening the national anthems at their home or in a working place did you listen the national anthem by your own no according to me according to me national anthem should be played in the cinema halls i don't understand why it should not play why it sh- uh, i don't understand why it should not play people say that love and patriotism for the nation is in the heart it is true but why you are not express it if you are, if you are getting the chance through a song you are getting the chance through a song dear friends i will conclude with the words of luke rian every time we sing the anthem our hearts beats out of the chest uh, our heart beats out of the chest we will be the pride to being an indian thank you and have a nice day now for token number 6 rutuja madavi against the topic A true 
nationalist is the one who get goosebumps while our national anthem is being played. By saying this, good morning everyone present over here. I, Rudhaja Maravi, standing before you, want to deliver my opinion against the motion. On the topic, playing national anthem in public places such as cinema hall instill the fervor of national unity. In 1960, the anthem would play at the end of the film, but people simply moved out after the movie. So, in 2003, Maharashtra Assembly passed an order the mandating of playing national anthem in, uh, in movies in, in, in cinema halls so that the people could understand the love for our country. Supreme Court bench headed by the Deepak Mishra, he changed the earlier order and the earlier or order was that playing anthem before the screening of the movie was mandatory. But he revised the order and made it change that it is up to cinema hall owners that anthem should be played or not. Now the code of conduct says, whenever anthem is being played, we should stand and attention. But whenever it is played in the newsreel or the documentary of the film, so audience is not accepted to stand as it will the interrupt the exhibition of the film and may create disorder. I am patriotic, I know it very well, but how does standing before the screening of the movie prove any point? No. All of us have grown up. We know we sing our national anthem in our schools, sports events and even nu numerous cricket matches. But our national anthem is a beautiful and powerful song which creates the uh, feeling of pride for our nation. For that, proper right of conduct of code of conduct should be maintained. Now, I would say that my question is that, that uh, why we force people to be, be patriotic? Patriotism is a feeling that shows love for our country and respect for it. It should be not told frequently that people told when, when you go to watch movie, you should revive your patriotism. No. Now, some of people also compare national anthem with the vulgar clackling jokes and playing songs like Sari Rat Besharmi Ki Rahait. So, is this a irrespect to our national anthem? Jana Gana Mana is a national song for our country. But disrespecting it means disrespecting our nation. Why only this order confined to the cinema halls only? Why not to the other place such as airports and railway stations? This should be an even parliament session can begin with the national anthem. Now we place national anthem in investiture, parades, uh, functions of government, president and presentation of regiment colors. Now I will tell an issue happened with it. A man was injured by the spinal surgery and he was beaten and humiliating very badly such in such condition that he get embarrassed very badly. So who gave this authority to the people to humiliate in a such a way that the man was? Everybody is equal among us. Nobody is superior or nobody is uh, slower than here. So. Uh, the my uh, opinion is here that uh, national anthem should be not played in cinema halls. Some of my friends say that cinema binds everyone and brings unity among the different religions. But I say there are also even easy ways to bring, bring unity in among the people. Many people asked me that if patriotism is instilled in you, then why are you no not expressing it? But I say it is not a just a sentence of express emotions of all Indians. It is the people come to cinema hall to entertain themselves. And we don't have to combine emotions and entertainment together. So the say by taking this both differently, Supreme Court take back his order to uh, playing national anthem in cinema halls mandatory. So now it's optional. Uh, I sign up for the, my speech and if I commit any mistakes, so please pardon me because I am so young to put my uh, views in front of so many learned peoples. So please pardon me and Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Thank you. Uh, token number six, next participant, Anshuja Thar.
further topic respected chairperson honorable judges my worthy opponents and my dear audience good morning i am anshita takunde speaking for the motion and my topic is playing the national anthem in public places like cinema halls solves the purpose to instill the fervor of national unity in the minds of citizens for a moment let's not talk about the national anthem let's talk about the words the fervor of national unity what is national unity and how can we achieve it in a country like india unity is everyone thinking functioning and working like one body and one soul this can only be achieved if and when there is a common goal or objective in a country like india we cannot hope to be united on the basis of religions or castes or languages there are too many if anything these as history has proven time and again have only served to divide the nation thus one important factor that can ever unite us is a common love for the nation and what is this love patriotism a feeling that our national anthem so adequately and eloquently describes hence the benefit of playing the national anthem and reminding us of it is established beyond doubt the motion at hand however is the benefit of singing it at public places as children we hear the national anthem in schools this may help us develop a sense of patriotism from an early age at international sporting events the national anthems of the participating countries are played thus uniting them so that they can compete as a team and win but do regular adults have the opportunities of listening to the national anthem do people listen to it at their workplaces like multinational companies private offices and construction sites where are the opportunities for regular adults to listen to the national anthem but i would like you to know that people from all cross sections of society gather at cinema halls which presents us with a unique way of exposing such a diverse audience to the feeling of national unity and that too just in a span of 52 seconds some of my worthy opponents might contend and say that a lot of disrespect is shown to the national anthem at public places but aren't we being unfair to those whose hearts rejoice on hearing it isn't it worth playing for those who might get motivation to do something good for their nation if they aren't technology has disassociated today's generation from emotions as simple as the feeling of national unity and pride for the nation so if the national anthem is not even sung at public places then people will tend to lose their connection with their nation on the other hand playing the national anthem and singing it with numerous others has kind of a ripple effect in spreading the patriotic emotion my worthy opponents might also argue and say that patriotism must come from within and that it shouldn't be enforced on us but according to me a lot of learning takes place through modeling and emulation the millennials who have been born years after india actually gained independence have little idea of the sacrifices made by our martyrs to give us an independent nation the only way this generation can ever learn and consequently feel the patriotic emotion is through emulation as i already said now and playing the national anthem in public places definitely serves this purpose i leave my opponents to mulk over this point 
and I conclude by saying that playing the national anthem in public places like cinema halls serves the purpose to instill the fervor of national unity in the minds of citizens. Thank you. Uh, token number seven, Shravani Bobde for the topic. Good morning to respected jury, esteemed teachers and all my fellow maids. I am Shravani Bobde and today I am going to represent Mohan Ford Senior Secondary School, Nagpur by speaking on the topic playing national anthem in public places like cinema hall solve the purpose to instill the fervor of national unity in the minds of citizens. National anthem is generally a patriotic song that includes the tradition of the people, the beliefs of thousands of people and the history behind it. It evokes a feeling of patriotism among each and every citizen of our country. It reminds the nation's glory, beauty, and the rich heritage of our country. It depicts the regional, the religion, as well as the cultural unity and diversity of our country. As we all know that our national anthem, Jana Gana Mana, was truly returned by Sri Rabindranath Tagore, and for that received the Nobel Prize as well. Rabindranath Tagore have truly described each word and each sentence as the right description of our nation, India. So friends, coming back to our topic, that is playing national anthem in public places like cinema hall. You all might have gone to cinema halls, right? A variety of people come. People of different religion, people of different caste, people of different age groups are under one roof. They chat, they laugh, and they enjoy. But have you observed one thing in cinema halls? That before starting the movie, the national anthem is playing. You never question what is the reason why it is playing. There was a big reason behind it. There was a man named Sham Choksi. He went to watch the movie Kabi Khushi Kabi Gam, as we all go to watch. And in that movie, do you remember one scene is there of playing the national anthem? When the scene was screening, he was the alone person to stand and to sing a national anthem in the whole cinema hall. But the people behind him were yelling at him for disturbing their view. So Choksi mocked out to the people behind him and he got very offended by the people's behavior. Later, he appealed in the MP's High Court and then the court ordered a nationwide ban on that movie till the scene is not deleted. This was a situation, but Choksi didn't want that. He wanted that every Indian should respect our nation, should sing our nation. So his 13 years long struggle finally paid off in 2016, when the Supreme Court of India finally ordered that the national anthem would be played in the cinema halls before starting the movie. And that it will be compulsory for each and every person to stand to respect our national anthem and that our national flag should screen on the TV. So I would like to ask to my worthy opponents, they might be disagreeing with me, but if a student is very weak in studies, the teachers are not improving the child, they are letting the child as it is, no, they are improving. Then if you are trying to improve our Indian citizen, what is the problem in that? Why you are not improving our Indian citizen? Why they should respect? So this thing only I want to give you one example. Parents and teachers are always trying to improve the child and student respectively. But sometimes the students behave very disobedly and argumentally with the teachers. But the teachers and parents never lose their hope because they know that any one fine day, their child, their student would definitely be a good person. So, by keeping this thought in mind, our national anthem 
a slave like situation our citizens are laughing at an national anthem they are not respecting our national anthem they are behaving the worst as a national anthem but one day will come if we will continue to improve them they will definitely be improved at last boys and girls i wanted to conclude that i don't know that the national anthem should be sung on the closed roof but i am sure that the feeling of nationalism and patriotism should be there in each and every citizen of our country and if you are an indian please respect please stand and maintain this compulsion because this will help the near future that the respect of national anthem should be there for the generations to come at last national anthem should be played in public places and it is must thank you and have a great day the next participant lakshmi kulkarni against the topic Good morning respected teachers my worthy opponents and all my dear friends today i am against the motion the topic for me is public national anthem should be played in public places but i am against of it because when it is played in public places like theater cinema hall nahi this started now when it is played in theater have you seen the people all people respecting it no more over people are sitting some are only giving respect to it no this is wrong we should not play public national anthem in public places so we should not play national anthem in public places in garden when people or groups of people come first they play national anthem but nobody is having attention to it all are busy in playing so it is insult of our national anthem insult of our national anthem is insult of our country and we should not do it we should respect our country as well as our national anthem in various singing competitions you might have seen that the group of the people or student come and sing the national anthem in various tunes more groups change the wordings also it is very wrong we should say the wordings properly and say and say in that tune which it has been made so i will say that we should not play national anthem in public places the, the feeling of patriotism come in our mind when the when like when chandrayaan 2 was successful when our army defeated and even but not the feeling is coming in every time the feeling is coming only at a point and it is very wrong we should we should respect our national anthem and in various dance competitions group of group or p group or people come and dance on it but we should properly stand and say the national anthem it is very wrong to dance sing to sing wrongly national anthem we should sing very properly because it is reminding our sacrificers so it is very wrong to say national anthem in public places because people are not at all giving attention to it so i am asking my worthy opponents that can't you stand for 52 seconds for the national anthem properly at in attention position nobody is standing at least 52 seconds for the national anthem quietly and paying respect to it before few days in jammu and kashmir before the flag of pakistan as well as india was hosted but the people said national anthem of india as well as pakistan but they fought between 
the 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 people fought between themselves that i will sing the song of india and another will say you can't speak but it is very wrong we should stand properly give respect to it and say only one national anthem in one country it is very wrong we should do not we should not say national anthem in public places thank you you know next token number 8 Arya Neenam against the topic Good morning to one and all present here I am Arya Neenave representing Monfort Senior Secondary School Nagpur Today I will be speaking against the topic playing national anthem in public places like cinema halls serves the purpose to instill a fervor of national unity in the minds of the people So it was in 1960s where the new law of playing the national anthem at the end of the movie in a cinema hall was passed but as people had enjoyed and were fulfilled by their movie they just simply walked out of the cinema hall without even noticing the fact that the national anthem was being played there so the, the government has now changed this law and now the national anthem is played before the movie starts in a cinema hall let me share an experience from my own life Last month when me and my family members went to a cinema hall there everyone stood up in respect for the national anthem but there was this woman who did not stand up so we asked her why she wouldn't stand up her family members replied to us that she had a problem with her leg and hence she wouldn't stand up so is the government supposed to be punishing her for that according to me no it shouldn't but there have been many cases of people being punished for they didn't want to sing or stand for the national anthem there was a recent case of three boys from kerala who did not sing the national anthem and hence they were arrested later on so indirectly the government is forcing us to stand straight in a place of entertainment to stand straight for 52 seconds so we can tell that there are some certain places where we can or we should sing the national anthem the national anthem is supposed to be sung in an open area instead of singing it under a closed roof also most of the people come in cinema to come out of their daily routine of stress and tension and just enjoy their life for 1 to 2 hours and here's our government again forcing us to show our patriotism in a place of entertainment no it is not always necessary to play our national anthem in public places because our national anthem is for indians it should be played in independence day republic day national seminars meetings national sports day and national flag day etc and also it should not be played where international delegates are present because they may feel embarrassing as well as confusing either they should sing the national anthem or they shouldn't also this is said by the many politicians and government that playing the national anthem is an act of chauvinism according to me there is no purpose of promoting chauvinism on a place where people come for their entertainment also during the national anthem everyone is supposed to be standing and we as the youth of the country can stand but how can old handicapped or infants stand in congested places i have observed many teenagers who have always been seated during the national anthem and if this happens every time it will become a habit also these are the orders of the supreme court the supreme court says that it when a national anthem is playing it is imperative for everyone to show respect as it instills a sense of patriotism and nationalism the judges reportedly observed but according to me can someone please measure just how much nationalism and patriotism there is in india 
Can someone please measure just how, na how much nationalism and patriotism Kool-Aid we need and just how much we already have? And what about the poor people who cannot afford to buy tickets for the cinema hall? How do we plan to sell them the nationalism and patriotism Kool-Aid? Why just ask for an image of the screen, of the flag on the screen? We might as well bring a real flag there. Also, just like the no smoking warnings, when a character smokes during a movie, we might also add some more text there. Repeat after me, India is great. Yes, it is. But we do not have to show it by playing our national anthem everywhere. And hence, I conclude by saying no. Playing our national anthem everywhere is not what seems to be an Indian thing. And hence, I will be not agreeing to this topic. Thank you. Next participant, Supir Varkhadi, for the topic. Good morning to respected juries, estimate teachers and my dear friends. My name is Supik Rajendra Varkhadi and I am from Sainik Public School work and studying in the 7th standard. I am here to speaking about the playing our national anthem in a public places like City Mall. <clears throat> in the positive sides. On, on 13 November 2016, the Supreme Court ordered that all the theaters should singing and playing the national anthem before the screening the film. And everyone should be the present in the hall, should stand up and pay the respect of the national anthem. And while the national anthem being started or played, the Indian flag should be on the shown on the screen of the theatres. That is because the people get a good sentiment about our India. And the India is the one of the most country in the world which the people love and respect from their hearts. And singing and national anthem is uh, already the part of the school curriculture and it is the compulsory for every student. And it is because the people get a good sentiment about our India, our nation, and our motherland. If, and if we can sing a national anthem in a public place like cinema hall. In cinema hall, there are the large number of the peoples of different castes and states. If we can sing a national anthem there, so there the people get a good sentiment about our India, our motherland. So, and they also know that what is in the 52 seconds of the national anthem. In the 52 seconds of the national anthem, there is those who bled for freedom, those who founding father for our nations, those who wrote our constitution. Yes, these are that 52 seconds which are tell us about the whole our India, our nation, our country. It tell us about the soldiers which are stand on the border for our motherland, for us. It is tell us about the fundamental duties for our motherland. Yes, it is that 52 seconds which are tell us about uh, the whole country, our nations. And the they also know that we have to stand properly while the national anthem being started or played. Uh, it is possible, it is as the symbol of the respect. Some people didn't stand. It means not that they hate our India, our nation, our motherland. It is possible they had no legs, their legs was fractured. It also possible their legs was injured. So that's problem. They were not able to stand. My dear friends, my dear friends, it is correct or wrong to sing a national anthem in a public place like cinema hall? It is correct because if we can sing a national anthem in a public place like cinema hall, so that the cinema hall, there are those who the peoples were present, so they get a good sentiment about our India, our nation and our motherland. So it is the good to sing a national anthem in a public place like cinema hall. So my dear friends, here I am uh, repeating the points of the topics. On 30th November 2016, the Supreme Court ordered that all the theaters should singing and playing the national anthem in the, before the screening the film. Singing national anthem is already the part of the school cubicultures and it is the compulsory for the every students. The 52 seconds of the national anthem tell us about those who bled for freedom, 
those who wrote our constitutions, those who founding father for our nations, those who stand on the border for our motherland. It is tell us about the fundamental duties for our motherland. It is tell us about whole our country, our India, our nations. If we can sing a national anthem in a public place like cinema hall, so in the people, in their minds, hearts, and their whole bodies, create a good sentiment about India. So we have to sing a national anthem in a public places like a cinema hall. Thank you. Hey, uh, next person, token number nine, Nazmina Sheth. Further topic. Hey, good morning to our honorable chief guests, jury members, principal, teachers, and my worthy opponents. I, Nazmin Shete from School of Scholars, Vana Dongri, presenting my view on the topic playing our national anthem in public places like cinema halls solves the purpose to instill the fervor of national unity in the minds of citizens. I still remember that day when the news flashed into my mind. It is the year 2016 when the Supreme Court had ordered that it is mandatory to play national anthem in every cinema halls before the movie. Here the question arises, why it is made mandatory? There must be some protocol for that, isn't it? I strongly agree and respect to the Supreme Court firm step to play national anthem in public place like cinema halls which show respect towards a national anthem of one's own country. It instilled the feeling of love and patriotism among the young generation and respect for our motherland and for the national unity in the minds of the citizens. I will, so, I will say that national anthem should be played in every cinema halls, in every cinema halls, as very seldom we get a chance to sing our national anthem. The weave with a national flag in cinema hall increase our patriotism and gives us an opportunity to sing our national anthem. Truly said, national anthem is a solemn patriotic song which gives an expression of national identity of one's own country. National anthem Janagana Mana, written by Rabindranath Tagore in 1911, acts as a catalyst to the feeling of national pride. Our national anthem is like other national symbols that plays a very vital role in our life. It represents our tradition, history, and belief of a nation and its people. Not only this, but it also evokes the feeling of patriotism among all of us and reminds us of our nation's glory, beauty, and rich heritage. Don't you think it is our duty to preserve our culture? In today's time, we hardly get a time to listen to or recite our national anthem. If national anthem happens before a movie in a cinema hall, we all should see it in an optimistic manner. We all should feel pride of reciting our national anthem and be proud of our country and pay respect towards our nation and ignore any other thing during that time. The patriotism and love for the nation is in the heart, but why we not express it when we get an opportunity through our national anthem? According to me, until we express our love for the nation, no one can understand our feelings. So why are we hesitant of expressing such feelings? We all should be proud of that and appreciate this type of things. Though we all are divided into different castes, state, religion, language, etc. But there is an important thing that binds us together is our nationalism. I think there is a common thing between all of us in a cinema hall that instill the feeling of national pride into all of us. Also, if we can stand in a queue for tickets and popcorns, then it is our duty to stand for our national anthem. But just if just by standing 52 seconds, we give a feeling of patriotism, then everyone must stand. I 
I will conclude by saying that I believe that national anthem must be played in every cinema halls, not only, but in every social gathering. This will definitely help us to show our feeling towards our nation. Thank you. Our next participant, Abhimanyu Nege, against the topic. Good morning, everyone. My name is Abhimanyu Negi. I am from Podar International School. And today, I am going to say in against of the topic that singing national anthem in public places like cinema halls can help in, the increasing, help in increasing the patriotism amongst people. The Supreme Court of India made a rule of singing the national anthem before the beginning of any movie to increase the patriotism amongst people. Patriotism comes out of love and respect for one's nation and cannot be force-fed by making them stand while the national anthem plays and the national flag on its view. Patriotism comes from within of us, not by when you are frequently told to sing the national anthem every time you go to watch a movie. Even if singing national anthem, one, uh, even if singing national anthem in the theatres can help in the growth of patriotism, but singing it once in a month or once in a week cannot help in that. Imagine national anthem, the most sacred tune of a nation, being played before double meaning comedy jokes, voluger, uh, voluger comedy jokes, or action movies or songs. This would make the national anthem lose its importance. Cinema halls are a place where people go to enjoy a movie. <clears throat> they go to enjoy a movie and not by, singing the, um, by showing their patriotism. There are more formal places for, the pat uh, for people to show their patriotism like it should be said to some public, place, uh, public transport areas like uh, railway stations or airports to sing the national anthem before they begin their journey or it should be said to the parliament to begin its sessions after singing the national anthem. The, there are some more formal places for the national anthem to be sung, like uh, on some formal occasions like investors, parades, presentation of regiment colors, functions of president, governor, etc. Of all these places to instill patriotism, cinema halls are no place for the people to feel for their country. National anthem should not be sung in public public places as we know nobody stands to pay respect for it children keep crying fo phone calls keep coming Ch people keep talking old people sit because they don't have energy to stand lord bore by this we just disobey the national anthem some months ago the solution to this problem was violence an old man was thrown out of the theater as he was not standing for the national anthem as he was tired and injured and not even to Indians, even foreigners. An African-American man was better by local people for not standing for the national anthem, as he didn't know what to do, and he was really embarrassed. On 9 January 2018, the Supreme Court of India took back its decision and modified it by making it optional to sing the national anthem in theaters. Thank you. Next show in number 10, Harsh Patankar against the topic. Good morning, honorable judges, respected principal ma'am, teachers, and all my friends. I am going to speak on the topic, play, singing of national, anth national anthem in cinema halls or not. It is 15th of August, the Indian tricolor fluttering in the breeze and the entire assembly singing in unison. The atmosphere vibrating with a feeling of respect, love and deep gratitude for the free air that we are breathing flashes from a memory of a history class where we have learned about the brain freedom fighters who gave their life to give us a future generation, a life of dignity and freedom. Few days later, I noticed when the national anthem was being sung at school assembly, 
not even 50% of those gathered on the ground were singing. The school choir on the stage was singing the anthem. And two rows right in the front mumbled the anthem. Those at the back were not even standing straight. It was quite shocking. Trying to analyze the situation, a thought flashed across my mind that is the monotony of singing the same anthem daily? Does monotony destroy its charms? On the other days, my mind is flooded with thoughts of daily activities, works to be completed by school students, a test uh, which will be conducted after the school assembly. Regarding singing of national anthem in cinema halls, the once compulsory decision has been taken now has become optional. This decision has been taken on November 30th, 2016. Here I have a question. Is spirituality only meant for the only meant for temples, mosques and other places of worship? Is it not the integral part of our life? My answer to this is yes, is it is the integral part of our life, but being too real ritualistic is not mean for showcasing it in public view. National anthem should be sung on national days for military honors and on international forums of games. Let us not make this national anthem a monotonous forced ritualistic activity. Although the vast majority of nations have national anthem with lyrics, the real march of Spain has no words, as the Spanish national anthem was a military march originally. The other countries' national anthem without lyrics are Bosnia and Herzegovina, San Mario and Kosovo. Americans do not sing the national anthem, they only say their pledge. New, York, New Zealand and Denmark have two official national anthem of same status. Greece has the longest national anthem in the world and Japan one of the shortest. Kimigayo, a four-line national anthem which translates into His Imperial Majesty reigns. Do we have any doubt about the patriotism and sincerity of Japanese people? as they have risen from the ashes like Phoenix and now is one of the most important and beautiful countries in the world. We should teach patriotism and gratitude to the, to the people from the school level itself that it should make the rituals less important in the life. Let us save rituals and speeches for the national days. Thank you. Now, Gurleen Kaur for the topic. Amongst men, the advancement of unity in diversity, this has been the core religion of India. A very pleasant morning to honorable judges and everyone else present here. This is Gurleen Kaur and today I'll be speaking for the motion of playing a national anthem in public places like Cinema Hall solve the purpose to instill the fervor of national unity in the mind of citizens. I can very proudly say that I'm a citizen of a country with about 36% of nationalists think that our country is the best. But before starting, I would like to share a small story with you all. A small family with a mother of, with five sons lived in a small house. The father served in the army and was killed in the war. Now the mother wanted the five sons to serve in the army. The first son joined so and unfortunately even, even he was killed in the war. This went on until the four sons of the family were killed. Now it was the turn of the last and the fifth son to serve the army. So he went to the committee where his job was to be decided. But the committee members sadly said that all your members of family have been killed. Your, since your mother is old, we let you spend some time with her. After she is more, we, you can serve the army. 
The son sadly went back home and explained the situation to his mother. Even the mother became sad. The next day, when the son went to his mother's room, she was no more. She committed a suicide. There was a letter lying down which read, Dear son, now you can go and join the army. The country needs you. Go. Hats soft to this lady who thought her country's prime importance than anything. But I sadly say that the number of patriots in India is decreasing day by day. People are so busy in their lives that they don't have time to think about their country. Hence, the Supreme Court of India made a law stating that all cinema halls should compulsorily play the national anthem before the screening of films and that everyone present in the hall must stand up in respect till the national anthem ends. Patriotism is supporting your government and country when it deserves. Now, accordingly, 64% of Indian nationalists are non-patriots. And according to India's census 2011, youth in India consists of 19.1% of total population. And it is even predicted that by 2020, it will increase by 34.33%. And these youngsters think that upgrading your Facebook profile photos on 15th August and 26th January is greatness and patriotism. But it is not. Patriotism is not just waving of flag some days, but it is striving that a country shall be patriotic as well as united. If you can stand in a queue for popcorn and tickets, why can't you stand some seconds in respect to your country? Our country has such a soldiers who die for us, and we can't give 52 seconds of our life. Very well. Patriot My opponents say that patriotism and love for the nation is in the heart. I completely agree. But why can't you express it when you get a chance to? Until and unless you do not express your feeling towards anybody or anyone, how can people understand it? According to me, if you are giving excuses for avoiding to stand just 52 seconds for your country, then you do not have right to be known as the citizens of India. So let's uh, so let's bring love and nation's culture in the heart and soul of people again. Let's hold our hands even stronger and let's hold our hands even stronger and do what India was born to do. To build love, to build respect, to build uh, unity and peace. I would end with the quote. If our country is worth dying for in the time of war which let us reunite, then it is worth living for in the time of our living for patriotism and responsibility. Thank you. Uh, next participant, token number 11, Nirjala Pandare, against the topic. <laughs> 